Hello, marvelous fourth graders. Today, we're gonna learn about the Jamestown settlement, the New World. After Christopher Columbus's voyage to the New World, some countries in Europe were in competition to start colonies in America. Now, when we're talking about the New World, that is what Europeans called America because they had no idea that it even existed until Christopher Columbus went on his voyage. Colonies are groups of people who leave their home country to make a settlement in the new land or in the new world. In 1606, England was ruled by a king. England also wanted to compete with other European countries. They wanted to increase their wealth, which is like money or gold, and their power. So wealth is like money or gold and power is like control over other countries. So wealth and power. That's how we're going to remember this. One way to accomplish this goal is to start a new colony. King James then decided to start a new colony in the new world. The colony was an economic venture or a trip to make money. King James got help from a group called the Virginia Company of London. They helped to raise money to pay for the trip to the new world. Reasons for colonization. One reason was that England wanted to establish an American colony to increase its wealth and power to compete with other European countries. Another reason is that England hoped to find silver and gold in America. A big reason is that an American settlement would furnish or provide raw materials, which are natural resources that can be used to make money while opening new markets for trade. All right, fourth graders, now I'm gonna show you how to set up your social studies notebook. All right, so here I have my writer's notebook. I know I just said social studies, but I'm going to show you guys a cool new trick. So we're going to take our writer's notebook. Here's the front cover of my writer's notebook. I'm going to flip it upside down. I'll do that one more time. Here's the cover of my writer's notebook, and I'm going to flip it upside down. Look, my barcode is at the top. My book is officially upside down. When I open it to my first page, remember, it's going to be an upside down notebook. My title space is going to be on the bottom. I'm going to label this first page Unit 3 Jamestown because this is how we're going to get started using our social studies notebook. So if you need to pause to copy this down, go right ahead. When I flip my page over, I'm going to make this nifty little chart here. We're going to label this chart reasons for colonization, just like how we saw in the slide. You can use your title on two lines like I did, so that way it's big enough for you to see. Once you've done that, you can count down about seven lines and split your paper into three sections and then one long line down the middle. It doesn't even have to be strict. Make sure in your box you have your labels reason one, reason two, and reason three. You're gonna write your reasons in each of these boxes like how I did mine. Over here on this side, you're gonna draw a picture. What are those things that you're reading, those reasons? What picture in your mind can you make? Like for this one, when I said increase wealth and power, I put gold because wealth is gold and power for strength or control. That's what I think of. So make sure you guys set your notebook up to look just like mine. Complete the rest of your pictures. You will be submitting this on Seesaw, so make sure you look for that link on your Canvas page. 